Hello, my name is Marcus Wong Xiaowei. I'm from Malaysia, and this is my digital story about a certain part of my trip in Oslo, Norway. On the 24th of January 2020, my family and I departed from Malaysia to Norway. We landed on the 25th in the Oslo airport, and our tour guide introduced us to the culture and details of Oslo while going straight to Kantiki Museum. We learned about the Kantiki expedition on the 1947 journey of the raft that crossed the Pacific Ocean from South America to the Polynesian Islands. Although that bored me quite a bit, there were some interesting parts of the story that were quite fascinating. About 30 minutes of looking around the Kontiki Museum, we went to the Frogner Park to experience the history of the famous Land sculptures, which, in my opinion, is the most fascinating and captivating park I've ever seen. The park had many statues. Although some are a little inappropriate to be shown, <laughs> they all told a story. Our tour guide talked about Gustav Weigeland, the Norwegian sculptor. He was seen as the best Norwegian sculptor with his powerful, creative, and amazing imagination. His sculptures tell a story about human form and its circle of life. It all represents the different emotions and representations of the human everyday situations and different stages in life. The sculptures itself shows complexity in the way he thinks and his imaginative concept of life. It really calls out to me. Having to see the different types of emotions humans have to deal with, anger, happiness, sadness, and even the ones that are being dealt with, your family, your loved ones, and even the sculptures of the afterlife. One of his most famous works, Man Attacked by Babies, had a very interesting meaning behind it. I was told that the sculptures were suggested to be about a struggling parent that was confronting the responsibility of taking care of his children. The most famous one from Gustav would be the angry baby that had his left hand shining from the wear, now seen as a real tourist attraction to touch the shining hand for good luck. The sculptures really left me inspired, wanting to know more about our emotions and more about the sculptures themselves. The sculptures themselves relate to everyone in a universal scale. It opposes race and shows us what we are as our understanding of the human form and our emotions are almost relatable and never as different as it seems. With as much as 121 sculptures, it all can be seen or represented and related with what we've been through.